previously on Dragon Ball Z. You can actually come through here. This is a little bit quicker than taking the usual path that I go through. These bars are raised. You can flip this switch now. And yeah, please get your BFG. You really need it. Uh, come through here. Whoa, what the hell? What in the hell just happened? Okay, so... Plutonia decided to glitch on me. And I got fucked. So, yeah. Alright. Alright, what's going on guys? So, we're back here in Plutonia again. This time we're going through uh, Impossible Mission. This map is actually pretty tough, and it's actually a pretty long map. I, I believe I found a relatively like optimized route that's a bit quick. Go for the yellow key first, which involves going uh, this way. And uh, you're, there's going to be a lot of chain gunners. Just kill them as you see them. And I actually just recommend taking this right way over here. Just uh, fuck these guys up on sight. Get the hell my he's not even a threat at all, you know, hiding in this little room. And yeah, just come through here. Sometimes these guys will actually kill themselves. They'll just constantly shoot each other. That didn't happen this time, but oh well. And before you flip the switch, actually uh, step up here. Sometimes you can actually snipe some of these other chain gunners just from here. Now flip it, and uh, let's go ahead and move forward. So him. Yeah, just uh, mow down these guys. Another chain gunner may walk in. Uh, it's not really going to matter too much. There he is. And yeah, we're about to get our yellow key. So make sure you have your chain gun or your plasma gun. I'm actually going to get the plasma gun. And, yeah, you have to immediately start firing or else you're going to get fucked up beyond belief. I think a chain gunner made his way up here, actually. There he is. There's a pain elemental. Definitely get the pain elementals before you get out there. I actually like to kind of hang out here. And you can get this arachnotron just like this. It's very, very easy. I can hear a lost soul. Uh, I don't know what he's trying to attack. I guess yeah, he was trying to go for me, whatever. That is the second and last pain elemental. Just uh, continue shooting until he's dead. You know, pro tip. Shoot until he's dead, all that good stuff. Now, get your super shotgun and uh, trigger this platform to fall down by walking forward far enough. And uh, get these specters. Also be aware of these shotgunners up top. go. Okay, get some more specters. You, you really don't want them to surprise you and bite you, so. Get these revenants. I've been killed by these revenants a surprising amount of times. I really don't know why. I, I guess um, you know, if you just underestimate them, they actually can kill you, so. I like to take them out pretty quickly. Take out the Arachnotron. Take out the Baron of Hell. If you uh, don't miss as much as me. There we go. So we're doing pretty good here. Actually, um, with your rocket launcher still out, run in here and then run back out. There's going to be a hell of a lot of uh, revenants. And uh, because sometimes they do like to go stay upstairs and not come down, get your plasma gun. You can wipe them out very easily on your way up. And let's try this. Sometimes the floor... See, you raise back the floor. Sometimes it goes back down again. I don't know why. I just flipped it twice just to be safe. Step on your teleporter. Okay, there we go. It did stay up this time, so... Now that we do have our yellow key, flip this, which allows you to exit. Go through the teleporter and just turn around and uh, begin to leave. We're going to come back through this maze one more time later, but... You see, the maze has actually changed. Um, once you enter this room, Chain gunners are going to start walking through the walls now, so just be aware of that. The rocket launcher makes it very easy. 
Yeah, you can actually just kind of walk through here yourself, you know, to see if there are any still hiding in here. This Revenant can scare the ever-loving shit out of you. I know that's what happened to me my first time playing through this earlier, so... Be aware of him and fuck him up. There you go. They're all dead. Oh, guess not. So yeah, I believe the maze has been, you know, thoroughly cleaned up of monsters. So it, it is time to leave with our yellow key. Uh, yeah, make sure you get all the rockets out of there. Here come some barons who are released now. Not a big deal. I mean, these guys are only a threat if you're, like, asleep or something. So, yeah, just take them out. They're just complete bullet sponges. And yeah, there's a plasma rifle up here. You saw me grab it earlier. Get it if you need it. Otherwise, you can actually just save it for later if you need plasma ammo later. Um, they can actually live. I'm going to go back through there soon. So, let's go through here for our blue key. Get ready to fire as soon as you fall down. And that is incredibly sick. I love that. It's a massive chain reaction. It gets every single chain gunner. I absolutely love that moment. It's so sick. Get these guys. This is uh, similar to when you fall down for the uh, chain gunners when you're getting the yellow key. So, when you're coming down, chain gun is you know probably optimal, but... Since those guys are just shit tier shotgunners, it doesn't really matter too much. I did not kill the pack of demons earlier. So they're going to be floating around if you didn't kill them, obviously. Just uh, be ready for them. You have so much room to run around, they're not like even a remote threat. Now, there should be some imps in there. There they go. I believe there's three. Kind of count them off. Snipe them. Don't walk in there until they're dead. There we go. Yeah, that is a secret area. That's why he walked through the wall just now. Get your rocket launcher and uh, be ready for a lot of mancubi. Sometimes they go down in three rockets. Sometimes they go down in four. Like I only took three. Once again, you have enough room to walk around. This is not really a huge problem. But if you do let them sneak up on you, they will fuck you up. And I'm actually going to show you guys a secret. So walk through here. This opens up for a brief moment. You can kill him. Get all this nice ammo and stuff. And you can actually telefrag another chain gunner. So There are enemies over here. Um, this is actually the way to the exit. We'll, we will kill them later. So For now, let's go back into the nukage area. And look at this wall. Uh, pay close attention. There's no green like fog on the bottom of this wall, so you can actually open it. Get a lot of rockets, which is nice. There's no green fog here either. And yeah, another pretty cool secret. So, you know, not the most exciting secret ever, but it is nice. And it is very easy, and you might as well just grab it no matter what. So yeah, kill these guys. Anyway, it's a plutonium map, so of course there's a million chain gunners around every corner. And once you have flipped that, you can actually go through here now. There's like four or five um, specters in here. Not a big deal whatsoever. There is so much room to walk around. I mean, just... You have to be standing still for them to actually hit you. Yeah. Uh, pull out your chain gun one last time. And yeah, that guy's already dead. More health bonuses. Once you flip that, we do have to backtrack through the maze, so... I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, don't forget about that plasma, by the way. You can actually just go through here. And uh, these yellow bars that were blocking the switch before are raised, so you can flip that now. Go ahead and get your BFG. Um, it's it's very, very useful right here, so get it. My game is glitching so bad for some reason. Let me see what's happening.
Okay, so now they come up. I don't know what just happened there. In my last recording, which is going very well, um, I actually glitched through the floor. And I got absolutely destroyed by these guys. I don't know what the hell uh, happened there. But if you do not see them come up, definitely uh, just walk back through the maze. You're going to have to go through the maze again anyways. And it looks like, um, yeah, you sometimes you just have to come back, you know, so that they actually raise out of the ground. That really sucks. I, I really don't know why uh, that's happening. But yeah, um, once they're dead, you do have to go through the maze once again, which is in here. I keep forgetting. Hop through here. Yeah, grab this, grab these. We are about to end the level. Yeah, this level's already gone on for about 10 minutes, so it's pretty long. Yeah, it really does. I feel like there's a, a bit of a difficulty spike here in Plutonia now. After, you know, it says that you're in like the Devil Hype levels, I do feel like there's a bit of a difficulty spike. This level is a lot trickier. I, I've done this a few times, so I do have a decent route get through it somewhat quickly but um yeah it's definitely one of the longer levels so far so i'm going to show you guys another pretty good secret plus you have to come through here anyways use your red key to go through here get your rocket launcher you know, metal slug whatever so love metal slug i'm gonna have to do a playthrough metal slug on this channel sometime soon too you can flip this. This reveals the exit. Kill these guys. This guy can just be chainsawed because he's an asshole. And actually come around the other side here. You can actually flip this too. That lowers this. You get a lot of good ammo and a backpack and everything. And yeah, we are just about done here. Actually, once you get up to this yellow door, backtrack a little bit. This lowers. This is not flagged as a secret, but it is still worthwhile because you get a lot of bullets and stuff, and you do have to do it for 100% kills. And yeah, that is everything. That is UV Max on Impossible Mission. So, um, I don't know. This this is a longer map. Uh, one of the reasons I really, really like Plutonia. You know, especially after me revisiting it for this walkthrough, I, I do really enjoy the kind of faster pace of the levels and the just overall really short maps. Um, you know, it's all right if they do throw in a, a somewhat long one like this every now and then. Uh, I don't mind it, but yeah, the fact that it does glitch a bit in that one spot, that happened to me twice. Uh, that kind of sucks. I, I guess if you're playing on GZ Doom or if you're using any mods, just be aware that it can glitch. But, yeah, um, that's it for that map. I think it's okay. And, yeah, I am ready for the next one, which is going to be Tombstone. All right, that's it for me. I'm out.